the Farmington Village Green and Library Association, also known as the FVGLA, enhances the quality of life of Farmington residents and is the organization that preserves the cultural history of this beautiful town. Since 1901, the FVGLA has quietly and effectively ensured the existence of these Farmington landmarks which you use and enjoy today. Whenever you check out a book or use the computers at the library, explore the Stanley Whitman House, or simply stroll through the Village Green or Memento Mori, you are connecting with the FVGLA. Sarah Porter, the founder of Miss Porter's School, created a tax-exempt charitable organization to establish a Village Green. One of the trustees of the FVGLA was D. Newton Barney, whose interest in building and funding a library led to the construction of the Barney Library. The Village Green Association's mandate expanded to incorporate the new library in 1918. Memento Mori Cemetery was added when the town deeded the cemetery to the FVGLA in 1928. That same year, Austin Barney, Mr. Barney's son, gave his house on High Street to the FVGLA. Known as the Old Whitman House, it was later named Stanley Whitman House. From the beginning, FVGLA has been governed by an elected community-based board of trustees. The board provides leadership and actively raises funds for the continued health and well-being of these cultural treasures that we all know and love. The Farmington Libraries In today's fast-changing world, both of the Farmington Libraries stand as irreplaceable cultural and educational resources that serve one million people each year through dynamic and innovative programs and traditional lending services. The library is basically something which has begun out of a passion for books over a hundred years ago and it's something that continues on with a passion for books and learning. We not only have traditional services such as books and lectures, but we also have a comprehensive collection of specific programs dealing with specific issues, and that goes across all things. So we're a learning center, we have wonderful concert series, we have wonderful art programs. This library just has so many types of programs. Almost every week you can find something that's interesting or informative. It's not just coming to the library to get books but the library also has all kinds of help for businesses. There is something for everyone, from babies all the way to senior citizens like me. The library is really a integral part of the community and the library keeps up with the community. The main library is located on Monteith Drive and the historic 1918 Barney Library is located in the village of Farmington. I know that if you take the time to come to the library, you'll come again and you'll be amazed beyond your expectations. Friends of the Library in 1946, the FEGLA realized that they needed additional funds for the library. The town wasn't providing enough funds for their programming, so they formed a small committee called the Public Relations Committee. The dollars raised from membership drives, book sales, book nook, and other major fundraisers are all turned over to the library to enhance their services. Some of the programs that we provide have been the reading programs and movies, lectures, and musical programs that they provide for patrons of all ages. We also use some of our money to preserve the historical items that are in the Farmington Room, and we pay for the museum passes, upkeep, and the beautification of the garden. We also rely on the endowment of the FBGLA to support some of the extraordinary and wonderful services of the libraries. Stanley Whitman House, Museum of Early American History. Stanley Whitman House is a museum of early American history located in the heart of historic Farmington Village. This much loved landmark is not only a museum, but also a welcoming community center. We do history in a vibrant way here. We were the second organization to come in under the wings of the FVGLA. 
Since then, the museum has grown. We are community-based and extremely active. The museum, of course, keeps our history alive with the school programs for children. We have about 4,000 school children here a year. For adults who come on tours and for all the special events that go on there that expose us to what colonial life was like in Farmington. We do research about local history, the early history of Farmington. We do community programs of many kinds. The historic house, which is the heart of the museum, was built sometime between 1709 and 1720. It was the first National Historic Landmark named in the state of Connecticut in 1961. And it's a first period post-medieval building that was built by the Puritans who settled and really created Connecticut. Memento Mori Ancient Cemetery. Established in 1660, this rare artifact of early New England culture has over 800 headstones dating from 1660 up through 1890. The cemetery will always be preserved as a special piece of history, but also as a special piece of art. The headstones represent an early form of American folk art that will always be very well cared for, which is important. The cemetery is also used as a teaching tool, welcoming school groups and community programs. Farmington Village Green. This tiny little green space, that little center of nature in the middle of a busy intersection, which is so important to us, has so much history in its roots. The Village Green, tucked in the intersection of Main Street and Farmington Avenue, was a gift to the newly formed FVGLA by Sarah Porter in 1901. The site of numerous military encampments during the 18th century, it is now a place of repose and quiet, a welcome green space at the busy edge of Farmington Village. The Endowment. For the past hundred years, the organization has supported the community through our assets of our libraries and our museum and our wonderful Village Green and the Memento Mori. Those are things that should be maintained because they are historic. And this is, after all, a historic village. Donations to the endowment are the strongest statement of support you can make to our mission since your gift builds into a larger and long-lasting legacy. Your tax-deductible gift will touch the lives of people in your community, young and old alike, far into the future. Our challenge is to take our assets, preserve them, but at the same time enhance the ongoing community life of Farmington. And that's our pledge to you. It's critical that we have those dollars of earning off of the endowment and that the endowment is preserved and is built upon in order to allow these different organizations and entities to be very much part of the life of Farmington and its history. In order to do the things that we need to do, we need the support of people. And we look to the town, the various organizations and the people of the community to provide that support and it's absolutely essential that that stays strong very important to the life of our town. I would just encourage everyone to take the time, make a deliberate effort to visit each of the entities and realize the richness of each and see the history and be mindful that their individual support is critical to that well-being. All of these entities are open to the public. We hold these entities in trust for the public. Just come visit, it's as simple as that. For more information, please visit our website, the-fvgla.org. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.